we're back in the shop again today. Got some sandblasting going on. Got to keep it clean. Recycled. Sandblasting up the spindles. Fire up this crowbar welder. Get welding some seams. Well, after today, we got our seams all welded on the front side. We're going to do the uh, same on the back. As you can see, they're not the best at all. So we'll clean that up and get those all welded in there tomorrow. And then we can flip the car upside down, weld the bottom side. Put box kind of all in there and we'll get that welded up tomorrow. Don't mind this rust. That'll be all gone. And then we're going to make our bracket off of this bar for our brake pedal tomorrow. This is the finished product of Bill when he is sandblasting and cleaned off and deburred all the edges. Gave him a coat of paint. That way, if they bend, you can see the paint will flake, or if they get hot, this will discolor. And this to come, 602 crate, when we're going to tear it all apart. See what happens after nine years of racing. But that's the progress for today. If you like what you see subscribe get the notifications and if you want leave us a comment okay so we're in the shop tonight we got our steering column in place we hit the 30 spline to the GM steering box to three quarter inch round using a chunk of the three quarter inch DOM the three quarter inch flange bearing and on the inside we got Again, to the three-quarter inch round DOM, to the 20 spline off the steering column. And this guy is, I think, collapsible in here up to about 10 inches. It's a left-hander chassis product. Comes with your collars to lock it out, your mount, which is swivel, for what you need. All-star steering column mount. And then we got the multi-spline quick release, which is way nicer to use if you're in an accident or panic situation, easier to find to get off, opposed as the all-star square one with the pin. You always gotta try and find where it is. This one you just grab, pull, wheel comes off. Well, I would say it's a lot safer. More spline for engagement, better feel. And they don't wear out as bad as the hex ones. We got our transmission angle set, engine tranny set. I think it's down to about 2.5 degrees. Tomorrow we'll make the tranny mount for that. And get that welded in, built so it's removable. And hopefully get our other bars made that go from the sidebar here to the center. And then from that bar down to the eighth inch plate and a bar here to support your control arm panel. And it'll be Seams will get all welded, and then we'll uh, 
roll it over for hopefully the last time and uh, get all the bottom seams welded up and then uh, ready for paint. But so far we got accomplished today was a steering column and our training angle set.